Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. So today we're going on a little bit of an adventure, inshallah. Did you make sure the door is locked? Yeah. Let me check. Just to make sure because I know how they can be. Today, we're going on a little bit of adventure today. So, we are heading up to an area called Jambanjeli. We have a few things to do. The main reason why we're going up there is to look for some land. We're going land hunting for many reasons, really. Um, not really for personal reasons, you know, where we're going to um, be looking like for our personal house is mainly maybe but it's mainly for um the projects that we have coming up so from one of the projects that we have coming up is that um we are planning to open up an orphanage inshallah more details for that will be um announced later on inshallah so we are looking for land for that also my husband and i if you don't already know we have like an online arabic and quran institute so he is planning to open up an in-person one here details for that will be announced later as well i will put description in the description box below i will put um the instagram for that institute inshallah and you can keep up to date for that but we are going to be opening up an actual institute where people can come here and learn arabic and learn quran in person at our institute from ages all the way from nursery age up to adults we will have a school like a properly like a properly run school and everything like that um but we'll get into that eventually inshallah so we're going to look for some land we're going to find out some information we're going to speak to a few people so that's what we're doing inshallah and um i'll be i'll be bringing you guys along I'll be bringing you guys along for the ride, inshallah, to sh show you. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you all, you know, the logistics, getting into that kind of stuff. Great hand. Yeah. You lock the front door. Where's the key? Huh? فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض الحمد لله I hope you guys can hear me we're actually on our way to Jambanjali we're coming into Jambanjali now and my thoughts about Jambanjali is اللهم بارك اللهم بارك there's hardly any tourists up here which I absolutely love yeah there's hardly any tourists up here and you know the direction that we have for this village of Jambanjali inshallah so much khair is going to come out of it it's going to be a place of pollen we want it to be a place where when you come into this village when you come into this area all you see is Tulab al All you see is people in film. All you see is people in Naqab, Jilbab, Khimar, beads, chances above their ankles. Inshallah, I'm excited to see, inshallah, how it goes. So right now we're outside the office of the place for Jambanjali um, to speak to the people about all, you know the land that is available to us inshallah um, I'm just I'm just waiting my husband's in there speaking to them I'm just waiting for them to come back 
like outside okay they're coming outside now so i would like to see what they say well they salam do not come into my camera and he still comes into the camera so yeah i'm just um he's coming back to the car now so i will see what he says inshallah and then after that we'll take it from there Alhamdulillah, I had a conversation with, the, they call him the village leader, I don't remember his name But basically he is an old man and he's in charge basically of, you know, giving away land for people that are going to do things that's going to help the community develop and stuff like that But I'll let you know what he said in a minute huh? Hair's good for an orphanage. in the car but don't just waste the towel so this hair was a really nice piece of land this one that we saw we saw a few but this particular one was really nice it has so much greenery which lets us know that the land is nice and fertile and that is good because we plan to have a section on the orphanage where it will have a small farm where the children will learn to grow their own food and farm their own animals, be it nila. Um, and the size of this particular piece of land is 40 by 100 meters, which is a decent size to work with. And the cost of this land it is three million dallases, which works out to be about thirty nine thousand pounds at this moment in time um and yeah it's in a nice area it's you know out of the way alhamdulillah and we are currently in the process of setting up the just giving page for this land for this project sorry and um, if you're interested in supporting this project, um, our email is shadeofsadaqa at gmail.com and I would also leave the email address in the description box below. So whilst we was out and about looking at land and stuff like that, we decided to stop off at Imam al-Bukhari College and for those who don't know, Imam al-Bukhari College is an institute that specializes in that specializes in the sciences of hadith. It is a college where you study there. It's very similar to Medina University in Saudi. Um, you study there for four years and once you complete your studies you get you know a similar if not the same recognized degree after studying there and um, it's just been made available for anybody who would like to go there whether you're Gambian 
or you're from somewhere other than Gambia everyone is welcome to come and study there which I feel like is such a nightmare to West Africa to be honest um, with regards to Imam Abu Khari College, if you would like to know more, then I highly advise you and recommend you to go to Carriers of the Quran YouTube channel. I'll also link their YouTube channel in the description box below. Um, and over there, you'll be able to find a lot more details about the college, inshallah. علمت تزكو حقا يرزقك الله بذاك الصدق لا تيأسا وكرر المحاولة صعابه تلين بالمطاولة بادر وسارع واحذر التسويف فهذه الأوقات دوما سيفا لابد للسار من الأخلاق مثالها للجسم مثل الساق ختامها مسك بحمد الله يجنب العبد من الملاهي صلاة رب هادي العباد على شفيع الخلق في المعادي صلاة رب هادي العباد على شفيع الخلق في المعادي